So here we are, or we're logged into the Raspberry Pi on top of our Sphero RVR. It's all plugged in, uh, and we're now going to start coding it using Python. And I've got a program already started up, so I'm going to go File Program, and I'm going to go down to Thony Python um, to open up that up. And inside this program, I've already got the basic structure that I need in order to run my program. So all it's doing at the moment is it's importing a few essentials. It's also setting up the system path um, for the SDK. And it is then just printing hello, and then it's finishing. Uh, I'm going to go file, save as. I'm going to save it with my initials uh, in the Sphero SDK Raspberry Pi Python uh, folder. So my initials are TIC, and it's going to be um, RVR, and that's what I'm going to save it as. And I'm going to click on OK. That way the setup file will be there for the next person, if I use this particular one. Uh, and if you don't have the setup file, you're going to need to type that all in yourself, or you can download it from our learning management system, if you have access to that. So basically, we need to start by setting up our Rover object. And in order to do that, we need to import some things. All we're going to be doing in this particular tutorial is to turn some LEDs or all of the LEDs on the, uh, the Rover. We're going to turn it on and off and change the colors a few times. So I'm going to, in this section here, I'm going to put in a comment, uh, import the RVR stuff. This is where we're going to import um, all of the Sphero SDK components that we need in order to do the job that we're doing. So from um, from Sphero SDK import, I'll put that into copy and paste because I know I'm going to need it a few times. And I'm going to import in the Sphero uh, RVR or Rover Observer. And the Rover Observer is uh, the simple setup for running this in Python. There is the um, the asynchronous or asynchronous um, version, but we're going to use the Observer version for the duration of this course. So I'm going to import that. Now if I get this wrong, it's going to give me an error, but those capitals are important. So I'm going to press enter here. I'm going to type in that again. And this time I'm going to import colors, spelt the American way. And I'm going to import the R, the R, L, E, D groups. And once again, it's important you get the capitalization exactly the same. And I'm going to import the drive flags bit mask and I'm not quite exactly sure um, what that one does yet I haven't really looked into it so I need to go and read that particular bit of code I've read all the others but um, not quite sure why I have to import that I just have been so coming down I'm going to create my rover object it's just going to be an RVR as the object name and it's going to be equal to a Sphero RVR observer and right down here in the try section this is where the code goes I'm going to get rid of this print hello I don't need that anymore and I'm going to tell my RVR or my rover to wake it takes some time for the rover to wake up so I'm going to give it uh, two seconds And I'm going to then, down the bottom here, uh, just tell it RVR, just to be good, I'm going to close it off so that it closes the connection to the rover off. Now, if I've done this right, I should be able to press save. Uh, the assistant won't tell me anything, and the shell will just basically run it and finish it without any errors. And it did. You can see that it's finished there without any errors. So I know I've done the right thing so far. Now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to turn the lights on. At the moment they're pulsating different colors. I'm sort of, I can't show you a video of that because I'm not set up properly. But I'm going to, 
I've, it's currently going to a blue and now it's going to a red and greens and it's pulsating different colors. That's its default in the startup. Let's basically start by turning that off. So now that I've imported all those things, I can type in uh, Rover or RVR and I can say set underscore all underscore LEDs um, and open a bracket. I'm going to press enter a couple of times and close the bracket. And that closing of bracket needs to go back here. That's important. So the indentations are all important. And I'm going to type in LED underscore group is going to be equal to RVR LED groups. We imported that before. And we're going to turn all underscore lights and we're going to set their value dot value and we're going to have a comma and press enter and go to the next line and our lead underscore brightness hopefully I'm spelling all this right underscore values is equal to and we're going to open a square bracket color uh, four underscore in range 10 uh, for color in and we're going to have 0 comma 0 comma 0 and that's red green and blue so we're turning all the lights off so that should turn all the lights off and I'm going to give it a bit of time to allow that to happen here so time dot sleep one second. So when I run this, provided I've done it all right, so I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit run. If I get any errors, I've got an error here. Uh, so basically invalid syntax there. Um, so I probably needed to actually put an extra bracket here. Uh, so close that bracket off. Let's just save that and hit run. Okay, the lights on my rover, you'll have to uh, um, just trust me on this, they all turned off. So they're no longer pulsating, they've just turned off. So it follows that if we copy and paste this section of code here, uh, Control C, not Command C, I'm on a Mac, but I'm really plugged into the, uh, the VNC viewer, and Command V, copy and paste that, making sure I have my indentation lined up properly for that cut and paste, because sometimes that doesn't come across. And I'm going to now set this to 255, which is the maximum setting we can have for a color. And hit save and hit run. It should stay um, dark for a bit. And then now it's now glowing red. And once again, you'll have to trust me, it is now glowing red. So we now have our program working. Uh, if you run the program and you don't want to wait the whole three seconds that it takes, you can press Control C and it should interrupt. So let's run that and then press Control C uh, at that point. And it did actually allow me to um, interrupt that execution. Um, so it did throw up some errors because I was doing stuff when it happened. But if I run that again, the lights are turned off. The light's now turning back on again, so it's good, it's working.